my big daddy. I couldn't go home without telling you why I didn't come to your funeral. Same old reason, I was being selfish, thinking too much about how I was feeling instead of coming out here to pay my love and respects. You know, going through those photograph albums yesterday with Dorothy, I realized that I haven't always been easy to love. Oh, I was a horrible child. Rebellious and difficult. But you always made me feel loved and beautiful. Even when I did make it hard on you. I know I haven't always given much back, honey. I was always so worried about me. I couldn't even come and see you when you needed me before you died because I was all caught up in that old silly ball. <sighs> there is no excuse for that. Although I was the ball queen. Did I tell you that? Oh, that's right, I did. Well, here I am all caught up in myself still fighting with Virginia and the rest of the family when we ought to be comforting each other. I just feel like such a fool. I would give up everything that I ever thought meant anything to me. If I could have one moment with you. I don't know if love can help you wherever you are, but if it can, honey, you've got it. Big Daddy, I do love you so much. I just wish there was some way I could know you're hearing what I'm saying. Blanche. Oh, Lord. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. The cab driver says we better get going if we want to make our plane. Big Daddy, you remember Dorothy. Hello. <laughs> Honey, I have to go now. You're in my prayers. You take good care of him, Mama, you hear me? I love you. I love you both. I'm nobody's little girl anymore. Rose, this was a great weekend. We made $1,700 so I can get my TV. And I've been working on what we can tell Blanche about that plate. I wrote it down. You be Rose, why don't I be Sophia? <laughs> this is what we'll say right after they walk in the door. Hi, Blanche. You look beautiful. Welcome home. I love you. I broke the plate. I'm such a clumsy fool. <laughs> Okay, now you can skip down to here. I'm not gonna do this. Come on, you gotta. If it's the writing, I can punch it up. Uh, did you call about buying the Citrus Festival plate? Yes, I did. Oh, Rose, you're beautiful. How much do you want for it? Well, they're pretty rare. There's only five of these. I'd say $2,000. $2,000 a plate? What is this, a Republican fundraiser? <laughs> Look, these plates are collector's items. I'm only doing this because you said you're in a jam. Sir, we have $1,700 cash. That's it. I'll take it. <laughs> Give him the money, Sophia. But my TV. How about $100 and we'll show you a good time? <laughs> Give him the money. Nice doing business with you. Yes, ma'am. Uh. Oh, it's so good to see you both home. We took good care of your plate, Blanche. Oh, thanks. You know, I became a new person on this trip. I realized that we have so little time. While we're here together, we must cherish each and every moment. Now, this plate represents the old me. <laughs> I feel wonderful. I could go for some cheesecake. <laughs> what is this, sarcasm? 